So here we are at my soldering station and I figured the best way to demonstrate the soldering iron, the mink soldering iron, is to use it. So here's the iron itself. It's got a nice um, power control here, temperature control, on off switch. Um, you've got removable bit or tip, soldering tip. I guess is a better term for it. You just pull this off. I'm going to use an older tip that I have here because um, there's no reason to start a new one. But just to show that they're pretty standard, you just throw that on there and throw this over it. And there you go. Standard tip. Um, and in addition to the iron, you have soldering paste and a stand, um, just some general wire, red and black wire, always useful. Uh, you've got the tool to take that off that I just did by hand, a pair of tweezers, a desoldering tool, which I already have one on my desktop, is an absolute must. You've got solder. Very nice fine solder, I like that. Different uh, tip styles. A wire stripping and cutting tool. So in, in all, it's a very complete soldering kit. I'm gonna put most of this back because I have it, so this will serve as spares for me. side I happen to prefer a stand up soldering uh, stand rather than the lay down style put a little water on the sponge just as I would with the one that comes with it now I'm gonna plug it in So this is soldering paste that is exactly the same as the soldering paste that comes with it. And here is solder that is the same as the solder that comes with it. I have all this stuff open, so I'm not going to bother opening new rolls for the moment. This is a circuit board that I solder for a particular use of mine. So... I'm going to stick this in, put the legs in properly. I'm going to take the um, connectors that I solder on and put all those in. And we're going to lay this down right here on my silicone soldering mat. Now I'm going to take the soldering iron. You can see it says off. And I'm going to hold that down, and now you can see the temperature it's at. I'm going to hit plus to see what it's set for, and uh, or actually minus. And I set it for 350 degrees. That's where I want it. So it's building itself up. That is a quick heating soldering iron, let me tell you. 350 is the, the temperature that I use in general to, um, to do most soldering. I'm going to... This particular tip has no silvering or tinning, as they call it. So I'm going to put some tinning on it. And that sucker is hot. So we're going to put that over there. And I'm going to take a um, flux butt brush. Put a little flux on it, which, again, this is the same stuff that comes with it. I'm just going to spread the flux out. And now I'm going to take the solder. Run a nice long piece out so I can hold it in my hand. Heat up the pin, 
And then I'll heat up the second pin. And what I'm basically doing is just melting the solder up against the pin I want it to stick to. I want to get every one of the pins soldered. Get the solder to run into those pins a little better. A little hot. And that's it. And then what you do is you take this, press the button, turns it off, that'll cool it down. Side of job done. So after cleaning off the excess flux, you can see that every pin has a little blob of solder on it. And again, if you look closely, I don't know if you can see it, each one of those pins, the solder flows right through to the other.